Hey friends, it is Trucker Ray with an update from uh, the Yakima area out here in Washington State. Uh, just parked for the night. I had a very, very, very early morning. Take these things off my head. Um, yeah, I got up at three o'clock in the morning, and uh, yeah, started my day in. Oh, where did I start my day? Oh yeah, at the rest area. I think it was the Duckwall rest area, which is just south of Wells. It's about. I think I left at about three, three thirty, three forty-five in the morning. And uh, made it here uh, three hours ago. And you're probably wondering, why do you need to get up that early? Well, I actually have a plan. And it is to uh, leave here very early tomorrow morning, like even like 3.30 in the morning. Get over to the yard in Langley at... Uh, or get over to Loblaw, drop my trailer off at about 7 or 8 a.m., and then get over to Walmart because they're going to open up shortly after that. Grab a few little supplies. I need some water, and I need some sparkling water. And then head back over to the yard, grab a trailer that's already been assigned to me, and head out. And I think I'm heading to Oregon with that one. And uh, I won't be recording that trip either, and there's a reason behind it. For whatever... I don't know what happened, but this shoulder of mine is just in so much pain. I didn't bump it. I didn't sleep on it wrong. When you are trying to edit videos sitting on the edge of a bed, it's very, it can be very, very painful. Like that's one of the things that was nice about working at iHaul. I had the dinette and I could sit at the table and I could edit my videos, but it is very, very strenuous on your arm when you're sitting like this and you're like this all the time and it's just very very strenuous and I guess the last video that I made um, I don't know why but this shoulder has been sore for almost a week and a half almost two weeks and I can barely even do anything with a mouse with it so yeah until this thing completely heals I can't really do a whole lot these updates are nothing because I just have to record it and then type in whatever I want and then upload it so but the amount of editing that's involved with these main videos that I do there's a lot of editing of one of these days I think I'm just gonna set the clock the timer and see how long it takes me from the beginning of the video to the end how long I'm actually editing the video that's not including shooting it that's not including uh, taking the files off the cameras. There's a lot involved on editing these videos. Uh, maybe it takes me a little bit longer because I am so picky <coughs> with how the transitions happen, the crossfades, that they have to match up with the music and everything. I mean, I'm a lot more picky with that, and that's my own downfall. I wish I wasn't as picky, but then again, if I wasn't, then I would not be providing such um, at least a half decent quality video. It's probably not the, I mean, I, I'm sure I could do better, but a lot of it's pretty good. I mean, I don't mind it. It's, 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 it looks okay. And I do get a lot of uh, wonderful comments from you guys, and I appreciate that. Do forgive me. I got that stupid reefer going in the background. I just can't seem to get away from a noisy reefer. Uh, <laughs> Um, somebody had made mention, hey, you know what, why don't you put together that video that basically, uh, what was it, uh, effectively planning your trip before you go, whatever. Remember I advertised that last year? Well, I can't really narrate that with that stupid reefer going in the background, so I can't even do that right now. So, <laughs> the only times I ever have to do any kind of narration or anything like that is when the reefer is turned off or I'm on a reset. And um, unfortunately, these are carrier reefers and they're very, very, very noisy. So, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. They vibrate like crazy. So, um, unfortunately, I can't really record a whole lot. I, I am. I have one little video I want to put together. It's only about five minutes. It's, it's my trip from Highway 2 in Washington through Stevens Pass and up through the pass and everything there. It's beautiful, really, really nice. And uh, I have a really nice song. My sister 
uh, shared with me. She goes, "Oh, this would be really nice with that format that you're doing." And I and I and I had to listen to it today. I'm like, "Yeah, that's really nice. Really praises God, and I love that. It's beautiful." So you'll probably see that on there. Uh, oh man, just just having my arm like this is just. I bought a five three five. I bought some other cream for it. Even a taking an Advil doesn't help. It's just, I don't know what I did to it. Even when I lay down for the night, it's just really painful. I have to lay on one side, then lay on the other, and lay on one side, lay on the other. It's it's a bit of a pain. So I think if I just relax and try not to put too much work or pressure on it and just let it heal naturally. I just don't know what I did to it. I don't remember bumping it. I wasn't like, my arm wasn't stuck in one position for a long time. And I've edited videos before like that on the edge of my bed. So I don't get it why this, what happened this time. But something irritated it, something flared up, and I don't, I'm not sure what it was. And I do apologize for the delay, guys. Not a whole lot I can do. I got to wait for the, for the arm, for the arm to heal up. Because to give you an idea what it feels like, if just by putting my hand down like this and using the mouse right up in here, right in this spot it just starts burning like there's someone's lighting it on fire and you're like oh you gotta just rest it and I, it's really painful i can only imagine I, I just don't know what i did to it and it figures it has to do it to the arm i need to use the mouse i even tried using my mouse with the left <laughs> good luck <coughs> hope you guys enjoyed the interview that i did with barry about the pre-trip post-trip uh, did receive one comment that we were called uh, someone had left a comment and said that we were how dare us condemn other drivers that were being condescending um, I mean if someone got offended by that maybe we hit a soft spot maybe that's the way they do their pre-trips and maybe they didn't like being told what they should and shouldn't do but um, most of the comments were positive the emails I've received are positive a lot of thumbs up and, and I appreciate that um, bottom line is, that's the way it is out there in the industry. People don't take pro, do proper pre-trips and post-trips on their trucks. They just don't. Um, people at the end of the day are tired. They don't want to get out and even thump their tires. But at the you know, but the pre-trips are important. And the only reason why we were even having that conversation is to educate the newer drivers, the ones that are just starting, the ones that are getting their CDL. It's not for the super truckers. <laughs> it's for the new truck drivers that want to know how to do a proper pre-trip and how important it is to get that, to keep that, uh, to maintain that habit and, and to keep doing it, right? So... If you haven't seen the video yet, if you're a new driver, I encourage you to watch it. It's um, Trucker Spotlight with my friend Trucker Barry about pre-trips and post-trips. You'll find it down below in the playlist called Trucker Spotlight. And I've got a few other really fascinating guests that I'm going to be bringing aboard soon. Um, I don't know. You guys ever had this? This is so weird. You can hear my voice. It kind of sounds crackling a little bit. For the last two or three days, I've had like a half a, half a cold. I know that sounds funny. I've had a half a cold. I wake up in the morning and right in the back of my nose, I can feel like it's it's sore. Not on the back of the throat, but on the ba in the back of the nasal pharynx, I can feel it like sore. And, you know, you're having to clear your nose and everything. And I even had to cough a little bit and I felt like I was coughing, you know, clearing my, trying to clear my lungs. And then I'm like, oh, I'm getting a cold. Great. And then three hours later, I'm feeling fine. And I'm not feeling stuffed up. Throat's fine. Nose is fine. I'm like, oh, that's weird. And then the next morning, same thing, woke up like that. It's like I have a half a cold. I've never had that before. Normally when I get a cold, I am stuffed up like crazy. As you guys haven't noticed, I've got a flat nose. I don't know how, I, I guess I ended up in those. I got that when I was a kid or I was born like that. Who knows? I have no clue. Just there's no cartilage in the front of my nose. So I have had issues with my nose my whole life. I'm always carrying a Kleenex around with me because my nose is always plugged. So when I get a cold, it is nasty. Listen to my voice here. Hold on. 
<laughs> I didn't want to do that in your ears. Um, yeah, my voice is almost shot, isn't it? Well, maybe I do have a little cold. Oh, well, it's nothing major. But anyway, when I get a really bad cold or a cold, my whole nose is stuffed up and I can't breathe for days, sometimes weeks. It hits me hard when I get a cold. So for this not to evolve into something more major, it's like weird. I'm like, I got half a virus here or half a cold. Maybe it's the apple cider vinegar and the vitamins I'm taking and the, uh, I don't know, the carnivore diet probably is helping when you're not pumping uh, sugar into your system. But anyway, I could go on about this for a long time, but uh, I do want to thank everybody for your patronage. If you're new to the channel, be sure to sh uh, sh subscribe, like the video, and uh, leave a comment, because all three of those things are good for the algorithms. It actually tells YouTube that the channel is busy, and it recommends it to others, and we got to get the gospel out, my friends. We really do, and uh, it's very, very important. <sighs> As you can see, I'm dead tired. I'm going to be going to sleep pretty darn quick here. But I did want to leave you uh, an update and let you know how I was doing. And I am doing very, very well. So, my friends, be blessed in the name of Yeshua. While I stretch my arm over here, and this is incredibly painful. I hope you guys all have a wonderful evening or day whenever you are viewing this. And we'll see you next time. God bless you all in the name of Yeshua. Bye for now.